I've been asked to do the intro this morning. It's uh, must be getting near nine o'clock already. We haven't done a lot of shenanigans here in the last month or so, but we've got plenty of work done. But uh, as you can see, we're at the cattle handling facility. So, and we have our two Kevins with us and Pan. Good Kevin, bad Kevin. Fun Kevin. So it can only mean one thing. It's time to do fall work on the cattle. This time all we have to do is preg check them and we'll give them just a little bit of medicine to keep them well called eight way. Um, and a little bit of pour on keeps the internal parasites down. But this should go fairly quickly, fairly seamless. That's what we always say with cattle, right? We've already sorted off all the calves. Um, and we've even sorted off some that got done earlier in the month. So this is just about, I don't know, 60, 70 of the cows that we have to do. So hopefully this goes well. And uh, when Aaron and Hannah and Marshall get back from feeding the, the calves at the other place, uh, we'll get started. In fact, we'll probably get started before then just because cattle are pretty settled. Hopefully. Eh, you never know with cattle. Here we go. Keeping the gate, making sure nobody gets back out. It's kind of quick. Everything's going good so far. Not bad. And Kevin and Kevin on the shoot. Oh, I bet. Kevin's giving meds. Dad is doing tags and catch. Yeah. And Kevin is the preg checker extraordinaire. So what we're doing here is basically a exam to determine how far pregnant um, the cows are so we'll know when they're going to calve and also whether or not we need to cull them or sell them um, because they're old or not pregnant yet. I have to block out this scene. Censoring. Or censoring, sorry. <laughs> So we got a couple more ladies here ready to go in the shoot. Hello. How are you, 5321? It's not so bad, is it? Very good cows. We got a little calf that we missed in our calf sort, so he's gonna go in the cell pen. And it looks like the tub is empty, but our Two professional cattle wranglers are bringing some cows up the lane. Here they come. They really do pretty good in this facility because they've been through it before. They know the drill. We do this every year, twice a year with the cows. So they have a handle on how it works and where they're going. And we don't really usually have too many issues with the cows. The calves don't know the system because they're new at this. So sometimes they freak out a little bit, but everybody that we're working today has been through it before and they're all very chill, which is how we like it. So see how it keeps going. Okay, where are we at in this process? Well, we've done the first group. I didn't get a full count on them. There's 40 or 50 in the first group. I gotta get out of the way here. But then we went and got the second group, which is maybe 25 or 30. And Penn is bringing them up the lane. That's why I gotta get out of the way. So I'll step back here where I won't I'll freak them out. And we'll just go take a look at the the pin here that's gonna go away. So we got we got four in this pen. The two red ones are cull cows. They're too old to be in the herd. 
so they're going to go down the road. Um, the little calf is just one that we caught randomly in our cattle trick catching method. So he'll go with the rest of the calves. We'll, uh, we'll take a little video of those later this afternoon. And then the uh, nice looking heifer in the back is another one of Aaron's heifers. She's definitely pregnant and she's going to go up at another pasture we call Stewart's. So that's what's going on there. Looks like they've almost got the cows in. So I can walk back. We released the rest of them out here onto the call the machinery pen. So they got to water. They're happy as a lark. They're all pregnant. There was two that, that were not pregnant, but we chose to keep them anyway. So sometimes we do that depending on the condition of the cow. This is 111. She's my favorite. And I was a little worried last year we were gonna have to get rid of her because she wasn't bred. But the girl came through this year. So we get to keep 111 around for another year. You're a good cow, 111. Oh, don't fart on camera, honey. This is a good cow. Good cow, 111. All right, just hang out. We'll send somebody else to hang out with you in a second. Okay, so this little calf guy, we're gonna save as a meat steer because he's got a bad leg. Um, we had him in the chute about a month ago and the vet uh, lanced his leg because he has an abscess on it and he thought that maybe the abscess was caused by like a rattlesnake bite. Um, so we've been keeping an eye on him and the, the uh, abscess has kind of swelled up again so we're going to give him another look and we're going to lance it again we think and just see if there's more infection in it. So if you don't like looking at like pimple popping I would look away now <laughs> so here's his leg it's kind of hard to tell in this angle but here's where we lanced it before and you can just see that it's very hard it's kind of swollen here he doesn't really feel anything when I mess with it see I'm poking it and he's not trying to kick or anything and that's just that because it's um, so walled off from the rest of his leg. So let's see what this looks like. It's a tetracycline. It's a long acting. You can give it once and it lasts for three days. Okay, let's see if it rains. But he doesn't seem to feel anything. There's already a hole in it down low. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it's pretty hard. We did bring some screw worm spray here and we can put that on it too. Yeah. So it doesn't look like it's gonna drain. Mm -hmm. So it must just be that the tissue is hardened yeah, around it. It feels and like to just... me it's all scar tissue. We're going to uh, save him out anyway and just um, feed him up. Yeah, so we're going to put right. some um, antibacterial spray on that. And he's going to be saved in the barnyard this uh, this year. Poor little guy. But he's a good, good baby. <laughs> Me walking the cow. Hi, baby. You get to hang out with me this winter. Good boy. The cattle herders at work. Real cowboys. Oop, nope, not the real cowboys. It's like we got two more groups. I gotta get down, otherwise I'll get spooked.
Tag Hi. So she lost her tag, but while she's nice and tight here, we're a couple years ago we made these little button tags for the other side as well. So we know that's 841. Even though she lost her main tag. So we can make up another tag. And she's not usually the ones that lose their tags are black. I don't have a black white face. Five. You got that on film, buddy. She's five months pregnant. That's what our preg checker extraordinaire tells us. I didn't know it. Hello. 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 Once this group gets done working cattle, they get almost as quiet as the cattle. Look at this. Everybody's having lunch. We're all done with the cattle. We got the dogs helping us out here with lunch. We're having brats on the barbecue. No, you're fine. Might be nap time after this. I don't know. We'll find something to do, even if it's wrong. Got to mow the lawn. Got to mow the lawn. That's not my job. <laughs> <laughs> Another successful day of cattle working.